boy down low back for another good plot. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. I reported on this like last week on the industry talk, man. But there was going to be a celebrity boxing match between George Zimmerman and the game in which that didn't happen in which it changed from that to George Zimmerman and DMX in which that was some bullshit there like that is some hand-picked shit because DMX is older less in shape and on that damn narcotic man you can tell George Zimmerman specifically picked him out because he can beat him and which news came out today that that fight's not even gonna happen I'm like thank God. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that Rick Ross featuring Young Jeezy, that War Ready, in which this song was supposed to drop yesterday at 5 p.m. for all of those who pre-ordered the Mastermind out. And it didn't happen like that. See, people pre-ordered that shit, man, but the song didn't drop until way later in the damn day, and that's fucking bullshit. Don't ever promise a time or a date if you can't follow through with that shit, man. It makes you seem so full of shit. This is why pre-orders, man, is such bad fucking business. I mean, you pre-order something that you haven't even previewed, that you don't even know anything about. And a lot of times, these people will promise you something and never really follow through with it, or at least half-ass follow through with it in this case, man. That is not a good thing. Now, this song is another song in a long line of songs that's ending beef as of recently, man. And I got to say, that's a good thing, man. There's too many damn stale-ass beefs out here in the music industry. But let's keep it 100 why a lot of these beefs are falling. It's because a lot of these guys' careers are telling out, man. See, the buzzes of both Rick Ross and Young Jeezy isn't like what it once was, man. So they come together to make this money. Don't get that shit twisted. Sad to say, you listen to this song, you hear the influence of Chief Keef on that fucking Hulk, dude. And that damn near ruins it all for me to keep it 100. Like, that whole entire style is just fucking garbage. In which everything else about the track is pretty straight, man, except for the fucking Hulk. But that's just how this music industry works, man. They see whatever the fuck is going on out there, man. And they take it and try and duplicate it, no matter how good or bad it actually is. Now, as far as the verses are concerned, man, Young Jeezy did his motherfucking thing, like, Rick Ross, not even close to that shit. Now, the song is definitely worth a listen, man, especially because nothing else really came out for this weekend, but I don't feel as though this is a must-download song, nor do I feel as though this song was actually worth pre-ordering the Mastermind album for. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPass.com, man, and today's article is about pushing forward. And this is something that rappers have to do all the time, not just when things slow the fuck down, you dig? See, here's what rappers like to do. They like to create their own lane, they like to create their own sound, and just stay there. Try to maximize off of that shit, when in fact, you need to be continually pushing fucking forward to remain relevant in the game. Because if you don't, then by the time that you need to be pushing forward, it's too fucking late. It takes a lot of time to come up with something new, unique, different, to push your craft to the direction that it needs to be. If you wait until you have have nothing else to push forward man then you're just going to fall fucking behind and by the time that you have something new different your buzz everything is already done 